many hello and this is your wonderful and definitely your beautiful lady t and to all the newcomers like welcome to the family i'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe subscribe and subscribe and to all the returning subscribers thank you guys for your loyalty and thank you for growing this channel let us not forget to comment to like to subscribe and share this channel guys because we have to grow the brand so basically welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see i'm back again with another vibe with another video and the energy is high 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 so guys from the previous video that i posted last week i've been getting a lot of comments and questions on um how to be an au pair what is an au pair and all and because i'm such a generous person i decided why not why not make a video whereby i'll be answering all your questions on what is an au pair what are the responsibilities of an au pair and who can be an au pair so please stay right tuned because i'm back i'm back with all the information that you need and please guys not forget to comment Uguti, how do i look thank you so back to today's business um do not mind Uguti, um like i'll be looking down it's simply because i did some i did some research and i jotted down some points in order to give you guys accurate information so um question number one was um what is an au pair so basically guys um an au pair right an au pair is a young adult between the ages of 18 to 30 who travels to a foreign um country for a certain period of time um, and lives with a host family the au pair supports the host family with child care as well as light housework um while learning the language and culture of the host country so basically um the au pair is considered a, as a full member of the family and the au pair mind you the au pair is neither the housework um is neither the housekeeper or a nanny mind you as an au pair you're not a housekeeper neither are you a, a, a nanny but then you basically there's added you basically the additional member of the family whereby you'll be taking care of the kids and some small and a light house housework and then the next question is what is a host family so a host family is basically a family that takes responsibility of a young person for a certain period of time basically that's what a host family is because they take responsibility of any young person um for a certain period of time and then the next question is um purpose like someone must be uh, so, someone might be asking themselves what's okay fine like what's the purpose of this au pair program so basically the purpose of this au pair program is that it's a cultural exchange program guys for instance i'm in Österreich, right so the reason that i'm here is simply because i'm learning more about the Österreich culture as much as the host family is learning more about the african culture so basically it's a cultural exchange program and the next thing is that um it gives an au pair a chance to improve their language skills as i mentioned before that um, most of the european countries they speak dodge so being in Oster Unst being in Österreich and living with the host family it'll help me to improve my dodge because when i got here i definitely had like the basic dodge and how to say guten morgen guten abend like the salutations and the greetings but now i've improved simply because i've been living with the host family so it also improves your language skills and then the next thing is that um the au pair should attend a language um a language course um in Österreich, you have to attend the, the, the Dutch and improve your language. If, for instance, you're going to the USA as an au pair, you definitely have to improve your English as well. So as an au pair, you have to improve your language of the particular country that you're living in. And then the responsibilities of an, of an au pair. Remember, I stated in the beginning that an au pair, you're not a housekeeper, neither are you a nanny. These are the responsibilities of, a, of an au pair playing with the kids guys if you're planning on becoming an au pair just make sure uguti you love kids make sure that you're energetic and you vibe and all oh, because you'll be required to play with kids and then the next responsibility is picking up kids from school and other activities and there are some instances whereby you have to probably drive to school and pick up the kids that's if that is the arrangement between the host family and the au pair mina in my case i don't pick up the kids from school but i do help the mother in preparing the kids for school because they go to school air like twice a week and then the other activities um 
um for instance mina every thursday we go for swimming classes and that's an additional for me but ish guys i almost drowned with a one-year-old baby in the swimming pool but well that's a story for another day so basically as an au pair you have to get involved with all kids activities as well as playing with the kids and then cooking for kids there are some instances whereby i'm left with the kids for like three hours and i have to make sure that they eat and they're taken care of right and the other responsibility is keeping the kids rooms um tidy as well as the playroom tidy and loading and unloading the dishwasher like those are the responsibilities obviously after eating you have to clear the table and load the dishes in the in the dishwasher and then these are the dons the dons you don't do this as an au pair firstly don't cook for the entire family guys you are not the chef's entire not the family is a chef you don't cook for the entire family but then there are some cases whereby the family will be like ah may you please cook um one of your african dishes in that instance then yeah, you can cook not that on a daily basis you are required to cook no 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 and the other don't is that you don't clean non-shared rooms guys you do not do that you don't find yourself cleaning the host parents room or any other room that you do not use and then the other don't is that you do not wash their car you don't do not find yourself a um, washing their car unless probably it's an agreement but mostly au pairs you don't do that and you don't clean the windows so basically basically as an au pair you're not a housekeeper you're not a nanny and you're not a cleaner you don't do all of that when what you do is you take care of the kids make sure that the kids are happy you play with them you jump you sing you do whatever I mean in my case i'm taking care of twins they're like a year old and there's definitely not much to do except to make sure that they don't get hurt and we play by the sand custom that's like a sand pit we go to the um swings yeah basically that's what i do because they're actually one year old babies but if they were a bit older then definitely there's going to be um jumping castles involved and the other other activities you know and then the next question is waking hours so waking hours they definitely di differ from the kind of um kind of um country that you'll be operating in um in Osterreich, it's 18 hours nine eu or pairs are not supposed to work less than 18 hours a week not less not less than 18 hours it doesn't necessarily mean that you're supposed to work 18 hours a week it can be 25 it can be 30 hours a week um and the benefits why would one choose to be an au pair okay guys this is the good part the interesting part the benefits of being an au pair number one free accommodation like accommodation is free and who would say no to free accommodation definitely mina i wouldn't um free accommodation uh, the host family caters for your accommodation so basically in the year or the years that you'd be operating you don't pay any rent it's free accommodation number two guys free food free food free food um whenever the family goes for grocery shopping they take you along so you can buy anything that you want and they're gonna pay for you so that's another advantage and the next advantage is that you get pocket money so guys imagine getting pocket money and you're not paying rent you're not buying food like you can basically spoil yourself with that money you can save that money you can do whatever that you want with that money and then um the other question is um free time and holidays in Osterreich, opens are entitled to one week one day a week or one day a week um as, as as their free time and then 30 days like if you're going to be an au pair for one year then definitely entitled for 30 days um vacation so hopefully i answered most of your questions on or pairing and everything but one thing that i can definitely say is that being an au pair guys as is wonderful it's actually great because you integrate with other people you find out how they, their way of living and your eyes are actually opened and all so basically guys you can be an au pair in any country that you choose to go to if you want to go to usa as an au pair like why not research and start applying if you choose to go to deutschland that's like germany as an au pair guys that those applications and if you choose to come to Ustaraj as an au pair watch my channel subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming back guys with more information on how to be an au pair in Ustaraj. but thank you for watching my 
video today and hopefully you enjoyed and you were educated do not forget to subscribe 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 and till we meet again next week with another interesting another vibey video bye bye and ciao